Photoshop CC, hands on with camera shake reduction, and how it works Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud CC, despite any misgivings that you might have about Adobe's shift to a subscription-based software as a services business model, is the best image editor in the world. It takes the strong legacy left behind by CS5, which introduced content-aware fill and refine edge. The performance boosts and interface improvements introduced in CS6, and adds its own set of killer features and performance tweaks. If you thought that content-aware fill was awesome, the new Smart Sharpen, Shape Reduction, and Camera Raw filters will blow your mind. Today we're going to look at Shape Reduction, which can almost eliminate blurriness caused by most kinds of camera motion linear, rotational, zigzag, and off-shaped motion. In short, this means that most blur caused by telephoto lenses, or indoor photos of still objects taken with the slow shutter speed and no flash, can be rectified by shake reduction. As you can see in the video below, where the subject itself is moving, the efficacy of shake reduction is significantly impaired. How shake reduction works, like most of Adobe's recent feature additions, such as the content-aware tools and refine edge. Most of the magic is performed by some very clever computer vision algorithms. These algorithms analyze your photos with incredible depth, looking for edges, patterns, and objects. Shake reduction, in essence, looks for the ghosting in your picture, probably via edge detection, and then reconstructs the path that your camera took during the exposure. As an example, one of the most common kinds of cameras shake, linear, is caused by the whole camera moving downwards as you push down on the shutter button. This causes very characteristic ghosting, which can then backtrack and compress into a de-blurred image. The same method can be used on rotational, zigzag, and off-shaped motion, as long as Adobe's algorithm can successfully work out which kind of blur afflicts your photo. I think shake reduction is a tool that will grow in usefulness and popularity as photographers learn how to use it. The mere concept of removing camera shake is so foreign to photographers that they can't really think with such an idea. Almost every operational decision made by a photographer is in order to reduce camera shake. If shake reduction is powerful enough that it allows photographers to shoot at slower speeds, without bracing, without tripods and minipods, then large swathes of the photographic world could change very rapidly. Oh, <laughs> oh,